Thanks so much for watching Virginia this morning right here on CBS 6. It is that time of year to enjoy the Richmond Veg Fest coming to town this weekend. Get ready to enjoy delicious vegetarian and vegan cooking demo, vendors, and life-changing presentation, just to name a few of the highlights. It's going to be a lot of fun. Joining us this morning to prepare a healthy meal is Chrissy Vandenberg, the Executive Director at Vegan Action and the Vegan Awareness Foundation. We welcome her to Virginia this morning. Good to see you. Thank again. you. Thank you. All right, you got a beautiful onion over there. Yes. It's like, that's a party onion. Right? Yeah. It almost doesn't look real. It really doesn't, but it is. Yeah. And and you're gonna get, we're gonna get to work on this uh, almost it. immediately. Producer yes. told us to jump yes. in, so yes. you get started okay. and we'll fill in the details. Yes. So we are doing lentil tacos today, um, and the reason is part of a big part of what we do is help folks um, choose plant-based options. And um, so the easiest way is sometimes just finding a substitute instead mm -hmm. of learning how to cook a whole new thing. Yeah. Um, and so lentils are a great substitute for ground beef. Huh. Um, and they are inexpensive, they're easy to cook, they're delicious, they're high in protein, they're high in fiber, they are cholesterol free, and as you'd mentioned earlier, they're kind of the superfood of, of the bean world. And you get to use things like that we love, like onions. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Delicious onions. Well, if you think about it, tacos really are just the seasoning. You yes. Know? Like when it comes down to it, that's really it. that's really what we're going for. So, we've got olive oil in the pan. That is a hot, good old-fashioned iron pan. Yes, yeah. I love I love my cast iron skillet. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see, very well seasoned. <laughs> So, we got to start with our delicious onion. In they go. Yum. And you used about a, almost three quarters of an onion there, Chris. I did, okay. and I'm kind, of, I'm kind of cutting this recipe short compared to the one that I have online. Mm -hmm. So, the one online is calling for two cups of cooked lentils and a full onion. So, I'm, I'm doing it a little. This is the TV version. Little on this the fly. is the TV version, just so we can kind of make sure we've got everything cooked on time. Um, oh, another thing I really like about lentils is if you buy them dry in the bag, um, lentils, you don't have to pre-soak them. You can cook them. Re they're ready to go in about 20 minutes, oh, which is really cool. That is nice. Other dried beans, you have to soak them yeah, overnight, sure. and yeah. they take like 50 to 60 minutes to cook. So. Talk about a lot of bang for your buck, a nice bag of yes. dried beans. Green lentils, red lentils, are there black lentils? What yes. are you using yes. here? Uh, so today we're using brown lentils. Or, mm -hmm. um, black lentils are definitely a little bit harder and toothier, okay. I would say. Um, so red, brown um, are the best, okay. definitely, for something like this, because we're actually going to mash them a little bit. Got you. Um, so again, to be kind of on the quick side, mm -hmm. um, you can get canned lentils. Nice. Yes. Um, so we want to make sure, as with any canned bean, we drain those really well. Mm -hmm. Chrissy, do you advocate, and we don't have a, a sink to give you here, but uh -huh. do you advocate giving those a rinse a roux too, like rinsing them off, or are they okay just to kind of go okay right in? They're okay just like that. Okay. Yeah, good question. If I was going to put these on a salad, mm -hmm. which I do sometimes, that's one of my favorite things to put on a salad, I do give them a little rinse. But if I'm throwing them in a soup or a stir fry or something, they're fine. So I'm gonna let those drain just a little bit. Now, the key to getting those really good flavors, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put my um, garlic in next, I was is- I under the spoon. She's, she's gonna use that giant knife, I do, which I makes know. sense. I do that. I don't, Not her first rodeo. No. Um, now, could you use fresh garlic if you wanted to? Yes, yeah. yes. Which, which I recommend. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm, tr I'm trying to You're be, speeding things up to be for speedy, us. speedy. Okay. We have about three and a half minutes, just so you okay. know where we okay. are. Okay, okay, good, good. Thank you. Turned up the pressure. Um, okay, so <laughs> this is the key with your seasoning, is we want to, if you'll hand me that packet mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. So I'm also cheating a little bit too. We can make our own taco seasoning. It's really easy. That's part of the recipe I have posted gotcha. online. Um, but if you're quick fix, taco seasoning, and you want to make sure you get it in there with the onions and garlic before you add anything else. So we want to heat got, that up Some of that went up my nose. Right? That's, that's sort that's of to it. activate those spices. Exactly. Exactly. So this is crucial. This is really crucial oh. to make sure you do this and let that heat up, preferably for about a minute or so. Again, we can, we can speed this up a little bit. 
Um, another thing I wanted to mention for folks that are really watching um, their um, intake of oil, mm -hmm. that you can do this with water. Okay. So that's just another thing but for that folks. that seasoning that soaked up all that oil almost instantly. It did. It yeah. did. Um, which, of course, is what makes it so good. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. It's still in there, Mr. Yeah. Robbins. It's just that it's soaked up now. With yeah. The, with, you know, so. Neither here nor there. Right? Um, yeah. So then we can just add our lentils. And again, these are canned, so these are already cooked, right? So you're just warming them at this point. Just warming them up. And getting them getting Can we get them rid of this for you? Sure, thank you. Okay. Chrissy, everything that's going on this weekend, more demonstrations, you know, just like this that make things, you know, approachable and probably yes. then next level stuff too. Let's talk about the Richmond Veg Fest. Richmond Veg Fest. I can't believe it's the 18th. It's so amazing. Um, it's one of the most visited popular veg fests on the East Coast. Wow. You know, we've had some of them up to 10,000 people in a day. Um, so this is the second year it's going to be in Bird Park at the Carillon. And uh, yes, yeah, so there's cooking demos, there's speakers, there are so many wonderful food vendors, local crafts vendors. Um, it, it's just such a great, great place. But and if yeah. you go, and, and I'm imagining just like you're doing for us today, you're going to learn a lot at the same time. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, so that's the idea. The Veg Fest is not just for vegetarians or vegans. Mm -hmm. It's for everybody that's veg curious, yeah. um, wanting to have a good time, try some good vegetarian food, and go there with him. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, so this is the other key, is you got to warm up your tortilla, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. So we've got corn and wheat mm -hmm. tortillas, whichever folks prefer. Some people have a wheat allergy. Okay. Um, and so we've got those. you got to warm them up either on the stove, you could do it in the oven, Ooh, microwave. Mm -hmm. Yes. You can do a little flippy flip. I am going that to take but a second. Right. There is a little plate over there somewhere. Okay. I see it. I see it. And with these, Chrissy, so you're going to put it all together. And then yeah. one of the big things for folks that makes um, they have questions about with vegan mm -hmm. style of eating is the cheese. Yes. What do we do with cheese? Yes. So that's the that's the great thing. So I've been vegan for 25 years, mm -hmm. and uh, it used to be really challenging to find things to eat, especially to go out to eat. Now you can find vegan food anywhere, everywhere, restaurants, every grocery store. Um, but the cheese has come a long way. So vegan cheese now is actually delicious. Mm -hmm. um, you can well, get it. I'm gonna go it. ahead and put these guys oh, in. Oh, please go right can ahead. Go ahead and do that. Yeah, you get can find it in a block, shredded. Mm -hmm. It melts. It tastes good. Um, and, and way more approachable, it's easy to yes. find than it used yes. to be. Exactly. Little, exactly. Oh, okay. All and right, we have we, some vegan jalapenos. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. I special. Kidding. I, I found those in the special area. All right. Area. So Thank you so much. Here's the finished product, and it looks fantastic, and it smells wonderful. Yes. Taco Tuesday on a Monday. Cream. Yeah. Even yeah. the vegan yeah. sour cream. Look All at right. that. Chrissy, we appreciate you coming in. Yes. Looks, smells delicious, and we cannot wait. The 18th annual Veg Fest is this Saturday, October the 2nd, noon to 6 at the Carillon in Bird Park. Admission is absolutely free. For more information, we'll post a link on our show website by early this afternoon. It'll be tvr.com slash VTM. Do a little eating. Still more to come for you to enjoy.